Guess I'll do some spidey work while I wait for Sable's call. Hey, what's that? What's what? Huh? Uh, rope? Ladder things? The fuck? What's with all the yellow stuff? Huh. Is this some weird street artist thing? Hmm. A police report. Looks like someone was killed during a mugging, but nothing was stolen. Hmm. What's with the audio recorder? So, you have some work-related stress. Well, you came to the right place. That's my specialty. So they tell me. Give me some more specifics about how you're feeling. Guess you could say I put a lot of pressure on myself. I like to be the best. Plus, I have a very demanding boss. Then what kind of work do you do? Everything here stays confidential, right? Of course. Good. Because if any of this gets out, you're a dead man. The case file says one of nine. There must be more of these out in the city. There's a bunch of GPS coordinates here. We're gonna have a I few theories. Hunts, but something tells me I'm not gonna find a chest full of gold at any of these places. No, oh, to me it will be. I got a few theories. Uh, number one, Cletus? Cassidy? Carnage, maybe? There's still one more thing locked. That's probably gonna be a side mission. Or no, I think it would say. I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for your silver skull, then go around and do pretty much all the other things I need to. Oh, there's one right here. Let's go get that. Hey, Peter. Nope, just I'm Miles. You know I haven't left the house. Glad to hear it. What's up? I've been listening to the police radio, and there's stuff happening all over the city, like constantly. Yeah, I know. Oh, there it is. How do you do it? I mean, you can't be everywhere at once. Or can I? Remember what May used to say? You help someone, you help everyone. Yeah, but I never really understood what she meant. Okay, you know that lady that came in to feast the other day with her two kids? The one who just got evicted? Yeah. After she found a job and was about to move into her new place, she told me, as soon as I get my first paycheck, I'm sending as much as I can back to the shelter. So we helped her, and now she wants to help others. Helping is like a force multiplier. Exactly. May was pretty great, wasn't she? The greatest. I'm gonna send you an address as soon as I'm done with all this. So stay ready. And bring those web shooters with you. Finally! That's not the swing. You're gonna, you're gonna dismantle it, put it back together, dismantle it again, put it back together, blindfolded, and then do it with one hand tied behind your back. This looks familiar. I think it's the last known location of a Magia informant who disappeared a few months ago. I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. I think we should end the session. Sorry, Doc. I didn't mean to scare you. I've just been paranoid lately. Like I said, stressful job. Okay. But tell me a little bit more about your job. Describe a typical day. Hmm. Typical day? Because it starts with waking up, checking my phone, see what the boss wants me to hit that day. So this guy's an assassin. Breakfast. I've been trying to do that keto thing, you know? Then I do the hits. Sometimes it's messy, so I gotta head home and clean up. I try to get to the gym in the afternoon, and dinner, and I... Sorry, um... Can you go back for a moment? What does... Do a hit? mean exactly? Really, Doc? It means I kill who my boss tells me to. I'm pretty good at it by now. Got quite the resume. <laughs> this guy sounds like a Magia enforcer. Feels like this is just part of the story. I should keep an eye out for more scenes like this. Alright. Whoever's setting up these scenes really likes the color yellow. If that's a clue as to who this is, I still have no idea. Let's hear what the recorder has to say. So what do you think, Doc? Well, clinically, you're a sociopath. You have no remorse for your actions. You clearly are not stressed. I doubt you think there's actually anything wrong with you. So, why did you really come see me today? <laughs> you're smart. I like that. Okay, let's get right to it then. You do what I tell you, and I won't kill your family. Whoa. You want to get right to it? Okay then. I know why you're really here. I knew who you were the minute you walked in that door. 
And I also know that before I do anything for you, you're gonna do something for me. Well, that took a turn. These crime scenes all feel like covers for Magia hits. And if the guy on the tape is a Magia enforcer, maybe he's the one who killed all these people. Hmm. All right then. I know it's over. At my base. I've been meaning to ask. How exactly do you have a base in the city that I don't know about? Okay. Right. Good talk. Why is she always hanging up on me? Before I go to her Maybe thing. She hang up on purpose. No, she did. Just got disconnected. She could be waiting for me to call her back. I, I'm gonna call her back. Or she could be running out of minutes on her cell phone plan. I mean, she's probably doing international roaming. That stuff is expensive. Or she just hung up. Accept it, Pete. Or maybe she just really needed to polish her pistols. Let's apply Occam's razor. The simplest and most obvious solution is... She hates me. Yep. Ugh. Before I gotta do everything, I'm just gonna do all the other everything. side objectives. Like the crimes, a couple outposts. Hey, Roxxon. Where's Cloak and Dagger? The entrance to his hideout must be somewhere close by. Hmm. There's the entrance. Clever. <laughs> Those people are probably like, what the fuck? Hi, David. I'm at one of the hideouts. I'm surprised Sable had you working alone on this. I resigned from Sable International in order to ensure the supplies made it to some carrier. Guess she's a true mercenary at heart. Even choosing weapons over aid for her own people. Sable is more than a mercenary. Trust me. Anyway, let me know if you find those supplies. Thank you. Okay. I fucking hate these missions. That took me 20 minutes. Time to find that stash of humanitarian aid. Is it here? Shit. That's probably it up there. How do I get it? The train? I'll pull it up. Come on, train. What am I doing? How do I move you? Pull train? Pull. How do I pull? No. Oh. I don't see how that physics works, but okay. There are the supplies. Hi, David. I recovered some of your supplies. Sending you the location now. Thank you, Spider-Man. I will get there as fast as I can. Great. And if it helps, I have a couple police contacts. I can ask them to help you out if... Oh, no, no, no. That will not be necessary. There you I did. have it under control. Thank you again. That's all things something suspicious. No, oh, I hope David isn't a bad guy. Please let me just have one new friend that doesn't die in 10 minutes. Hot stuff coming through. Did I just call myself hot stuff? Or did I call someone else hot stuff? Where's the sewer cap? Oh, totally right where I thought. Right where I started. Underground. Guess it's time for some what were you saying? You kind of cut yourself off. Hi, David. Just found another hammerhead hideout. Please be careful. I will. So, what happens when we get all the caches? Put some stamps on them and celebrate at Eddie's Pizza? <laughs> Eddie's, yes. I will miss that place. He's not going out of business, is he? Please tell me he's not. <laughs> no, no. It's just... It's nothing. And do not worry about shipping. I will take care of it when the time comes. David, I'm really not trusting you. Why aren't you telling me, man? We hey, need some downtime. Ah! Whew. Okay. There's a fine stuff for him. Looks like I cleared the place out. Whew. Now to find the supply cache for David. If his name is David, I can't find it. Where? 
Why is it not glowing up like it did last time? Oh, there it is. Take you out. Squeeze through there. This must be the cache of humanitarian aid. Oh boy. I was gonna say there's people in there. Hey guys. Oh, not yet. Not necessary. How are you not dead yet? There we go. Okay, David. Found a bunch more supplies here. And people. I'll send you the location. You are doing a great thing. Each supply cache could save hundreds of some carrion lives. Why Simcaria, if you don't mind me asking? I merely wish to help the children of Simcaria, as I once failed to help those who relied on me most. Thank you again for finding those supplies. I will come by to get them soon. Hmm. Huh. Sounds like David's carrying around a little guilt. Like most of us, I guess. Okay. I think there's one more base. And then that should be it. Whoop. Hi, David. I think I found the last hideout. Great work. So, I was thinking, maybe we should store the caches at a local police precinct. Just for safekeeping. I would prefer to safeguard them myself. Sure you would. I get the sense you're not telling me something. I had a work visa with Sable International. It became invalid when I quit. Even an ID check right now could mean immediate deportation. I merely wish to finish this one task, and then I will go. Maybe I could help you with the whole immigration thing. Do not worry for me. This was my choice, and I have no regrets. Ask me. When there was only one set of footprints, that's when I webbed you up. What? Okay. So I guess that makes sense with the deportation thing, but I still don't trust it. That guy's back is definitely broken. That was such a high fall. Done and done. Huh, don't even care about gang perfects. Now, where are those supplies for David? Or should I say David? If that is his real name. Oh. Nope, not that. Whoa. I am so strong. There they are. David. The final supply caches are secure. Thank you. I will take them all to the Simcarian Embassy and make sure the aid is delivered. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. I will. And thank you once more, Spider-Man. Guess that's it. Hope MJ can pull some strings for him. Yeah, so long, David. Hopefully I never have to see you and your untrustworthy face again. Ah, please just don't be untrustworthy. Please be nice for once. Alright, as I wait for some crimes, let's go finish up this uh, recording of some serial or some hitman assassin dude. Oh, hey, David. David what's up? Spider Man, I have the supply caches and I'm on my way to the embassy, but I think I am being followed. Of course, you are. Where are you? I am not sure. I am. David? David! Hold on. I'm on my way. As soon as I pick this up. David would be alone and vulnerable. I should have seen this coming. Hang it. I remember Yuri saying this was ruled an accidental death. Food poisoning. Where I is Yuri? On the last recording, the therapist turned the tables on the Magia guy. Welcome back. Have a seat. So, did you bring me on? Yeah. Hope this takes care of your cash flow problem. Right. It most certainly does. Thank you. So, I assume you came to me because I have a few police officers as clients. You assume correct. But my boss and I are only interested in one of them. And who might that be? Captain Yuri Watanabe. Ooh. Yuri? How is she mixed up in this? I'm afraid of where this story is going. I have to keep following it. Alright. Is there a side mission for that guy? 
Probably pop in, in a second. Hey, David, what's up? Spider Man, I have the supply cache. I know, we just went through this. Is that everyone? Oh. Yep. I think I broke Sable's property. Accidentally. Totally accidentally. Aiding a human. That's a weird way to phrase it, but okay. David, you having a good time over here? There's David. He's in trouble. We gotta move. He looks fine. Hi, David. Hello. You look like you could use a little help. Where did that truck come from? Jesus Christ, give me a fucking second. Holy fucking shit. Almost there. You still good? Alright, David, you want to handle that guy? Alright, I did it. No thanks to you. So, thank God for this sable armor. And me. So, what's next? Deliver the caches to the Simkarian embassy. Thanks to you, the Simkarians will finally get the aid they need. Is that a real Just place, Simkaria? But I meant, what's next for you? Well, a few minutes ago, I received a call from a school in Midtown. They offered me a visa if I accepted a teaching position. I don't suppose you had something to do with that. What are you gonna good teach? Good things happen to good people. I can't thank you enough. I will try every day to help my students achieve their dreams as you have helped me achieve mine. Actually, I should be the one thanking you. For what? For reminding me why I'll always love this city. Yeah, and I guess not turning on me. Uh, do you, you have something in your tailpipe right now. Well, I'm just gonna bask in this. I guess he wasn't a bad guy. The next few seconds, or until something else bad happens. I bet David's gonna be one of those cool teachers whose classes are packed. Maybe he'll be a lunch lady. Another setup for me. Got it. Another file and recorder. Someone fell to their death from this ledge. Ooh. It was ruled an accident. But was it? Probably In the not. last recording, they talked about getting Yuri's mental health records. Here's Captain Watanabe's file. Hmm. This everything? Yes. You ever record your sessions? No, I never record any sessions. That'd be unethical and illegal. You're recording this session. I'd like you to record the next session. And my boss has a list of questions he'd like you to ask. That gonna be a problem for you? No, no, no problem. I feel like I shouldn't be listening to these. But I'm gonna. Yet I can't stop. 
Seems that whoever left these wasn't satisfied with what the police concluded. All units, Hammerhead's men have taken control of two stable APCs. Officers needed in the East Village. Why don't they ever just call for Spider-Man? Like on the radio. They're like, hey Spider-Man, are you out there? We can use some help. He always shows up. Most of the time. Uh, what is up with this? Is it really that windy? Oh, maybe it's down here. There's a report and recorder. Uh, what? Was this person hung? Police ruled this a suicide, but Yuri had her doubts. The victim was part of Hammerhead's crime family. All of these reports are from the last year or so. But last month, Yuri assigned herself to all of these cases. Was Yuri the one who left all those recordings? Okay, Yuri, let's move on. Have your obsessive thoughts about the suspect continued? Yes. Sometimes I feel like I've almost got him. And sometimes I feel like I'll never get him. Are you doing your breathing exercises? Yeah. Trying to. But? I know who he is. I know where he is. And I know what he's done. But I can't do anything. Not without legally admissible evidence. That must be frustrating. You have no idea. Seems like Yuri's hunch is that the guy on the tape is the guy that killed all these people. I think she might be right. All units, Magia have stolen a truck with stable equipment. Okay. Available officers, please proceed so to before I out. discuss any of that, how scared would you be to stand right there knowing that this was the only thing protecting you? Just that little bit of floor. Like there's no floors underneath you. Halt! Oh! So why is Yuri seeing this therapist? Like, who is he? And obviously I think the guy Yuri thinks is killing the people is Hammerhead's seeing so with him just payroll. so like they can mess with Yuri. Wrong button. I'll take it. What is the beef between Hammerhead and Yuri? Did they discuss that last DLC? I can't really remember. Other than the fact that she's a cop and he's a thug. I think, like, right now, it's not even Hammerhead, it's the Magia. I get confused by all these different families. Just have one big family. How about that? 